Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another review on a League Moments player, the Team of the Year version of Paulo Dybala. We're going to go through the card, his details, stats, traits, attributes, clips, summary, and all that good stuff. But before we get into all of that, I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below who you'd like me to review next. Without further ado, let's get into the review. So guys, getting into the Paulo Dybala review and... Uh, we're going to go through the general impressions of the card first. This is the team I used him in as well. Um, I switched him in-game with Benzema, who is sitting on the bench right now, uh, and then brought him in and played him both as striker and as an attacking mid to test him out in both those positions and see how he played. So sometimes he's with Suarez, sometimes he switched out with Benzema, just depending on who, where I wanted to play him for that game. Uh, overall impressions of, of this card, guys, he is my... And I don't say this lightly because I love a lot of the cards this year. He is by far... And it's a big margin. My favorite card of this year. He's absolutely phenomenal. Like, it's the best card I've used this year. And I've, I've used a lot of nice cards. Maybe not meta cards. And he's maybe more meta than most. So that's why I love him so much. Um, maybe he's just like Neymar. I don't know. But guys, for the value that you're getting for this card, what you're getting is absolutely sensational. It's great value. It's a fantastic card. Um, and I'd highly recommend doing it. But we'll get more into that with the summary at the end. Let's just get into the basic review, first of all. So, Paulo de Bala, 5'10", medium, medium work rates, left footed, four star swing moves, and three star weak foot. So, there's a couple of issues here um, which may strike you off the bat the medium, medium work rates. They don't affect him too badly. Um, if you play him at attacking mid or striker but it is a bit of a hindrance that he doesn't have a high attacking work rate um guys what i did notice though for some reason was he has this craziness in i don't know what it is that causes this but sometimes he just starts bolting forward um and he just runs through and because he's so quick he just sprints right through the middle of the defense and it's so fast and so good i loved it i was like wow this is incredible um but pulling back into defense he does his bit there as well which is quite nice actually sometimes for a cam maybe where i'd prefer to play this card if i didn't have luis suarez um but again he was fantastic at both striker and cam for me uh three star weak foot is a bit of a hindrance but that left foot is an absolute wand so you do have that benefit of having a really good left foot but again three star weak foot not ideal for those players five games played 13 goals and one assist now guys he should have scored more than that um i was taking a lot of difficult shots a lot of really difficult angle shots to see what he could do this card was so good at finishing the standard chances that you'll give any other card. Um, really, really great in that respect as well. Into the details, I put a Hunter on him. I didn't try anything else. I don't need to try anything else because he has a great level of passing, a great level of dribbling, um, and you just want to take that pace and that shooting up to the next level, and that really gives him the springboard that you need uh, to make this card absolutely phenomenal in four different stat categories, which is really important um, for this card, is how good all of that is. In terms of his attributes, guys, there isn't actually a lot of weaknesses with this card. Now, the one thing I would say is if his attacking work rate, if his attack, if his work rates were high low in favor of attacking, I would say the stamina doesn't matter much, especially as an attacker. Because it's medium, medium, he will do the same work backwards and forwards. Now, medium, medium isn't obviously as bad as high, high, so he won't do as much running. But 83 stamina is a little bit low. Um, I would like that to be maybe 86, 87. That would make me feel a little more comfortable with how this card is. The other thing, guys, is his heading accuracy isn't great. But again, I don't really take many headers with Paulo Dybala. Um, I tend to keep things on the floor, keep things techy, keep things sim simple. And that allows me to create lots of easy chances to score with him. Um getting into the pros and guys i don't even know how many of these i'm going to say so i'm going to try and take the key ones and point them out for you um acceleration 93 so 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 important on this card um in terms of just moving between the lines moving between the defenders getting into those tight spaces and creating chances 95 agility 93 balance 97 ball control 94 dribbling all contribute to one of the quickest cards I've used this year. I mean, he's so fast in terms of just moving on the pitch. He dives into spaces that you don't think you can really get into at times. Um, he just gets there, holds onto the ball, a good level of retaining the ball there uh, with the ball control as well, allows him to get past all these tight gaps. The passing, of course, is fantastic as well. 95 short pass. I didn't really find an issue with his long pass, even though it's only 82. Um, vision, 95. Free kick accuracy, 96. Now, Actually, guys, I will say one con again before we move on further is his shot power. Now, you will see some powerful strikes 
in the footage uh, and you can of course fix this with the chemistry style however his shot power is a little bit low for those distant shots uh, he tends to float them a little more than drive them uh, a direct comparison to this would of course be the Luis Suarez with these, the exact same racing as this Paulo Dybala card so it's easy to compare where their shooting is and Dybala's shooting is a little worse than Suarez Fix up with the chemistry style and guys you have a fantastic shooting card there as well as attack position is great finishing is great composure is good everything else is fine Finally getting to the traits, and this is where it just gets even better. Finesse shot, flair, long shot, outside the foot shot, playmaker, and technical dribbler traits, all there. So, you've really got a complete card, you guys, in terms of both a cam, because he can playmake with the flair trait as well in that center attacking mid position, or a striker, or a number 10, or, or like a number two striker, a number nine and a number 11, playing on the pitch there, one in front of the other slightly. Um, he'd be fantastic at every single one of those options. Now that we've covered that, we're going to get into what his SBC requirements are. Okay guys, so getting into Paulo Dybala's SBC requirements, you need two squads for this card. Now of course the SBC cost is 192k on the Blitz and 185k on the Xbox, 218k on the, on the PC. Guys, I cannot stress enough how good a value this is for such an overpowered card. Please, please, guys, if you play this, uh, if you play a Serie A team, if you play a team where you can fit an Argentinian player in like this, uh, please get him. Honestly, you will not regret getting him. He's absolutely sensational. If we just go into some of the challenges you guys can see here in the more expensive 125k for this challenge here, you can see you don't even need that many high-rated players. Um, you can get away with having four or five maybe even six here is in the solution because they've used 81s and 82s we've used a couple more 83s again some of these wouldn't even be needed as well really is something that is very very reasonably priced to do inform players one min 85 squad rating uh 70 chemistry so so easy to put together guys i really can't stress enough how easy this challenge is to complete and i would how much i would recommend doing it again here only 66k for the first one as well so really really cheap there as well now that we've gone through all of that Let's get into the, our favorite part of the video, the clips. So guys, getting into some of Paulo Dybala's clips. And first of all, you guys are just gonna see the speed and shooting with which he plays with. Um, my favorite thing about this card, guys, was the way that he moved. Um, the way that he plays, the way that he moves through the lines, the way that you can transition past defenders so quickly. I mean, look at that turn. That's three defenders right there that he's just taken on and played a lovely ball in there to Benzema. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the finish off there. Again here, tight space, two defenders trying to track him down. No way they're stopping him. Um, and he just drives into gaps like that. Keeps it very simple, very easy for you to do with how quickly he can turn. And I know a lot of people may not like playing like this, but it is a strength of the card is that he's able to turn so quickly and play so quickly as well. Again here with that 93 acceleration, and that's boosted as well by a chemistry style, you're able to move super fast into those gaps. Lovely ball out there as well to Oyazarbal. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the finish off there as well. Here again, wins the ball back with good ball control, keeping it there. I'm shooting from ridiculous angles right now. That maybe should have been a goal there as well. It's unfortunate I couldn't get the goal there for him. Driving around the defender here, taking that finesse shot. I think that's where you'll see the greatest instance of the shot power being a slight issue is that when he takes these longer range finesse shots um, you tend to see them float a little more it looks good and um, it looks like it's going into the top corner but of course with it being a little more floaty the keeper has more time to recover like that again there um, therefore i would say that you need to boost that shot power a little bit in order to allow him to finish those with more uh just clean finishing in general um, he needs that boost there as well. Now, guys, there were some chances where I created them and I thought, ah, oh, I should be scoring that. But overall, compared to the final outcome of most of those chances where I put him into, it was almost always a goal. And I, I really don't see that as an issue if he misses one or two chances out of those because he is he's finishing the rest of them. And the other chances that you are creating with him, he's putting it into a dangerous situation. I mean, there again, it's a lovely shot. This one here maybe should have been a goal. Unfortunately, there to hit the outside of the post picking up the ball on the edge of the box there again you see the floatiness of his shooting and um, doesn't quite get it into the back of the net there uh, and now we're going to see there again he wins a penalty again the dribbling but we're going to see soon some of the goals i scored with him and that's where it really starts to get fun with this card because you guys are going to see on that left foot especially now guys i tried to actively avoid his three star weak foot and um, he did score one lovely finish on his right foot for me but it was the only one I think that he did score for me on that foot. So overall, I would say try to avoid using that weak foot where you can. 
Um, it's something that really does hinder this card a little bit. I think this is the one here where he just pings it with the right foot into the back then. And I mean, it is slightly usable in terms of finishing chances, but I wouldn't recommend using it overall. The touch and finesse of this card, guys, is phenomenal. Again, look at this finish here. He hasn't even brought the keeper off the line that much. Um, but again, the, the touch of it, it's so perfect to plop it into the back of the net. Here again, simple finesse shot finish. Not going to miss that one uh, easily enough put away. Driving past the defenders as well or creating outside of the foot finesse, uh, outside of the foot shots, creating outside of the box finesse shots, all of that easy enough to finish off if you get the positioning right with this card again look at that dribbling it's so quick managing to just stay away from both of those defenders good little bit of strength there to hold him off and a lovely finish into the bottom corner here again driving past and finishing with some good power there as well um the other thing i noticed guys is with the boost in shooting what you end up getting is you just get an elite player on four different levels and that's something that's really important to me uh, the more elite levels you can have to each of your players, the better they will play. That's just simple facts right there. Look at this gap that he takes there. That's unbelievable. And this final finish here, a lovely little dribble move there, takes it there and smashes it into the top corner. So guys, getting into the final Dybala summary. 191k, of course, on the PlayStation, 185k on the Xbox, 218 on the PC. Um, guys, this is active for a few more days. Um, so... My recommendation straight off the bat is get it done. Just do it. Just get it done. Um, I, I'm going to go into some of this other stuff as well. Now, it has fallen slightly in terms of price. It has continued to drop a little bit. Uh, it, it was at 184 at one point. So do watch for when that price fluctuates slightly. You'll save yourself a few thousand coins there as well. Um, in terms of chemistry styles, guys, you can use all sorts. Um, you could, of course, just use the Hunter, boost that shooting and uh, pace there. And you can see here now what we're looking at is 90 shot power. Uh, 99 acceleration 96 sprint speed and 97 finishing you know you've really boosted every part of that game uh, that he has you could alternatively put a finisher on him increase the dribbling but there you can increase the shot power by 10 really give him a lethal finisher uh, side to him as well uh, of course you could do the dead eye you know there's lots of things you can do with this card that will boost different parts of the game i would though recommend giving that pace a little bit of a jump and giving that shooting a little bit of a jump so for me the hunter is the best one for him um, and like I said before guys the price is pretty reasonable in terms of similar players now this is going to sound this is going to be like a, a pretty bog standard comparison but Lionel Messi is probably a close comparison I would say this player of the month Joao Felix is a good comparison as well I think he's better than Felix in my opinion I've used Felix on someone else's account I think he is better than Felix um, I think he's very similar to the center forward Messi he's slightly quicker of course in the raw pace department maybe not as good in the shooting or passing department definitely as good in the dribbling department I think very very good player in that part of the game as well finally guys Getting into the linkability for this player, of course, you got the perfect link to the Juventus Higuain. If you've done that Higuain uh, SBC that came out a couple of weeks ago, you can obviously link him in there as well with a weak link. Um, but you've also got some strong links here to some fantastic players, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo, as well as all the Argentinian icons. But you've also got Alejandro Gomez, Alexandro SBC, if you did that, Freeze Chiellini. Now, watch, guys, Lauturo Martinez is in there as well. One thing I wanted to point out to you guys, and it's something that you will have to think about when you do this player is that now that this player is so good and he is so cheap a lot of people are doing him which means that the price of all these players is going to shoot up like crazy so be careful with when you're buying them maybe hold out until after the sbc is finished before you build your teams around him get it done and then hold him wait till these prices calm down a little bit and then start to build your teams around him because otherwise you'll just get smashed out of loads of coins really not pleasant for anyone there um, so that would be my one piece of advice for you guys regarding the linkability of this card. He does have some fantastic links, but unfortunately a lot of them have shot up in price because of this card. How good would it be to have that flashback Kadira right now? W to all those people who did that as well. Um, and that is it guys for the, for the end of this review. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please do do this card if you can fit him into your squad and hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you all in a bit.